If you've downloaded Typora, go ahead and open it. You should have a display like this where you have files on the left side and you have an editor on the right side. If you don't see this, go under view and find toggle sidebar and click on that. This allows you to look at your files. So once you've got that up and running, go ahead and drop down to the bottom here and click on open folder. So now we can see all the recent locations. These are all the previous folders we've created in Typora. We can simply click on these and load them into the editor and start making content very quickly. Today we're going to make it completely from scratch. So we're going to go to open folder. Now a dialog box opens up and it's asking where do we want to put our main folder. Today we're going to use documents. So let's click on new folder and it's asking what do we want to name our new folder. We'll call it tutorials and click create. So great, we've created our tutorials folder and we want to open it. Great, everything's working perfect. We have our tutorials folder and we also have some actions we can perform. So we'll just close this for now. So if we wanted to build our file tree in Typora, we simply can add folders and files by right clicking on the folder. So let's go ahead and right click and add a new folder. Now it's asking what would we like to name our new folder. We'll put it under the year of 2021 and press enter. We have easily created a subfolder. So we can actually create another folder. Let's go ahead and right click on here and add a new folder. So we get this error because we've already created it and we've deleted it. But that's no problem. You may get this error too. And there's a way around it. Just click OK. Come down here to this three button setting and go under actions. We're going to find this here, refresh folder. Go ahead and click refresh folder. So now it actually created our folder. So let's go ahead and right click on it and rename it the name we want. So we'll call this August and enter. So now we can see that we have our main folder, we have our folder by year, and we have our folder by month. Let's go ahead and add some articles. So right click on here, and instead of adding a new folder, we're gonna add a new file. It's asking what would we like to name our new file. Let's call this first article and enter. Well, since we've already used this and Typora said it already exists, but we have deleted it, that's no problem. That happens very often. Just click OK, come down here, and refresh the folder. Perfect. We have our tutorials folder, we have our year folder of 2021, and we have our month folder with an article here. If we want to create another article, right click on the folder you would like and click on new file. So let's name this second article and enter. So now we have two articles. Let's give first article a title. And let's give second article a title. Great. So there is also another way we could build a file tree. We can use our folder. So if we go here and we look under tutorials of where all our files are stored, we can simply click on the folder we want and we can add a new folder this way. Let's say we want to call this one September and we'll hit enter. You can see that it's creating the folder in Typora and it's be and it's connected to the folder system on our computer. So we can simply go back and forth between these two. If I wanted to create a new file, I can click on September new file. And we can write 
fall article and hit enter. So great, everything's looking good. Let's just refresh this. Perfect. So now we have this file system that we can see both in here, beginning with our main folder, our yearly folder, our month folder, and then we can see our articles for that month. If you prefer to only use Typora, that's great too. We can minimize only the articles that we want to see. Or if we have another year, we can simply go to tutorials, right click, make a new folder, and we can call this 2022 and hit enter. And then we'll go down here and we'll refresh the folder. So we have all of our content for 2021. We can start building content for 2022. So that is our tutorial today on the file, building a file tree in a markdown editor using Typora. Thank you for watching.